Hey everybody, it's the program. There we are on TV. Oh, once again, once a day, every day, turn on the machines and live forever. Here we go, I'm gonna start right now. Living forever, starting now, until uh, whenever, whenever, forever. Hi. <laughs> it's uh, Luke saying stuff off the mic. It's um, Saturday, and I'm, I'm alive, I made it to another Saturday. You know, last Saturday I was like, I wonder if I'm gonna live for a week, and uh, my my wonders, my wondering has been like fulfilled. I'm alive. I made it. Verified. Yeah. Verified live. I was like, maybe I'm gonna be not alive by next Saturday, but it didn't. I, I lived. I did it. Every day when I woke up, I'm like, maybe I'll live today. I'm gonna try to live. I'm gonna eat some food. Comfy pillow. You know. Mm. You eat food. Uh, it helps you live. Um, can't do it very long without food. Yeah. Hi, Luke. Hi. How are you? I'm like this. Yeah. Uh, when was the last time you were here? Uh, last month, because this is like the second day of the month, I can pretty much guarantee I wasn't here yesterday. Yeah. You were at yeah. um, TCTV, though. Yeah, I went over there and danced at Dance Holy Dance. Mm. You didn't get on the program, though? No. Uh. Too late for that shit. Yeah, yeah. Dancing. There was a band packing up mm. by the time I got there. It was... Um, Those guys. Toast Ghosts. They look familiar like they'd been on before. Yeah, two out of three of them were on like only like a month ago, and okay. I didn't. I'm I'm not doing the band thing, but they're like, we're not the same band. Okay. We're different band. And they're like, well, yeah. I don't know. You only have one different person. Right. Like, if you played twice in a row, here's how you know if you're two bands. You play twice in a row, and if it was like, hey, you're not that. You're different. <laughs> then you're different. But I think if you don't, you're the same. <laughs> you're like, uh, oh yeah, does it count as being different? I guess it does. It's okay. I guess there's room. I don't know how, if there's a line. I'm not running that stuff anymore. There's like a line to get there to, to, to for these months. Yeah. Or if they're like, hey, you got two spots in a row. <laughs> Bella handles all that stuff, right? Yeah, Bella's doing it now. Yeah. <laughs> so I just show up and then there's a band there. Right on. And the band's like, I'm the band. Treat me. <laughs> I, I want some... Uh, they want like a M and M bowl of M and M's with only brown M and M's. You know, what I'm talking about. Um, no, is that some special uh, thing? Yeah, it's that the, people talk about these days. It's like the legend is maybe I don't know what band it was, but let's say like Van Halen or something like that. You know, it was Van Halen or like maybe uh, Guns N' Roses or like uh, uh, Poison, the band Poison. You know. Okay. One of these bands. They they put it on their on their thing. Big they say band. brown M and M's only. And but well, they want a bowl of brown M and M's and they want them to like sort through the M and M's because they don't sell them in colors unless you go to that place in Vegas where they have the M and M store. Yeah. And so they go there and then the the this, this, this is the legend that they go and then they look at the bowl and they they see a green M and M. And then they wrecked the place. Oh. And they said, we said brown. <laughs> it sounds like they were just going to wreck the place anyway. And they're just <laughs> looking for a creative, yeah. artistic, yeah. or uh, outrageous thing to tell everybody yeah. as their excuse. <laughs> they go, <laughs> we're just going to wreck the place. But we'll say it's on account of we got a green M&M amongst, amongst our brown. Yeah. If, I, if I'm a... Uh, <laughs> Become a you know a rock star and then and get the money and go to the, the thing and say, my requests are for things that I can smash. 
<laughs> right. I want glass. I want a bunch of glasses. <laughs> I want some old TVs from the yeah. alley. <laughs> and then I can tell everybody that I was like, I went out there and I was like, I smashed it back there. <laughs> I didn't like the man. Right. So I smashed things. I've got the disposable income required to pay for all the damage I did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm rich enough to smash. <laughs> I can't afford to smash. Yeah. And you say, I smashed everything. It's like, you must be rich. Yeah. I think anybody, maybe those yeah. people that are smashing things downtown, you know, they're going downtown, breaking windows in the businesses. Right. I'm like, I don't think you understand the value of a dollar. <laughs> like, maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Knock it off, man. Y'all is too poor to smash. Yeah. <laughs> It's the money to smash things. Uh, you, uh, you been out in the streets? No. No, you're you're wearing a lot of clothes. It's hot out. I'm a homebody. Is it? Uh, do you have AC? No. You no, know, it's isn't it? You're not uh, hot with your jacket. At the moment, no. Yeah. It's I could hot. Get hot. It's hot outside. You want me to get hot? Not necessarily. No, I don't feel it. Okay, yet. yeah. You can get hot just by sitting here and just being like, you can like harness it like. <laughs> it's the anger heat. Yeah, yeah anger or <laughs> just like concentrating. Yeah. Those those guys that can like go into ice. Have you seen that? <laughs> go into ice. They or they can like sit in the frozen, almost not like totally frozen water. You can't get in, the, but it's like very cold water. That would oh, kill okay. people. It would right. kill people, but people sit in there. Right. And it's like superpowers or something. Yeah, yeah. And they have the ability to like they just slow down their metabolism by will just to Yeah. to match it. They slow it down or they speed it up so they can stay hot or something. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they, those people could just die or they can just cook themselves if they're sitting there and there's like yeah. and then they I'm going to go in this uh, super chill water yeah. and and start it to boil with my uh, body heat. Yeah, can you raise your body heat by will, though? I guess. Yeah. Some people can. Yeah. Can you, though? No, me? Uh, oh, yeah. I don't know. I've, I've never tried it. You want to like, try you it? Know, there's lots of uh, people into meditation and whatnot who would acquire uh, control over bodily uh, functions that normal people just yeah. don't have. Uh, have you, that's pretty cool. Have you ever tried, uh, like, uh, Jedi powers? Telkinesis or something? No. You never once in a while you think maybe like maybe I got it and you go like this and you just go <laughs> try to get it to work. No, I do that. I remember trying to do that in my dreams. I've had some dreams yeah. where I wonder about it and I start trying and maybe something budges or something. I don't know. That heat thing seems like maybe something that you could actually maybe do. Like that, like yeah. you could like get your hands real hot, hurt somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, and maybe that seems not easy though. Yeah, I don't even exercise, so maybe I should at least maybe instead of trying to like uh, hone a, a superpower, I should just like uh, lift some weights, and then I could at least pick things up, heavy things, like extra heavy things. At least. Yeah, but yeah. I just use tools. That's what I always think. <laughs> instead of superpowers. Give me, give me a. A lever long enough in a yeah. stable fulcrum, and I lift anything. Yeah, it's like why? <laughs> why are you so strong, or uh, why are you like exercising so much when you could just like get a car <laughs> or a forklift or something? Yeah, I don't know why. It seems like it'd be hard to sleep. You know, if you could pick up a fridge. Have you seen those people? People who pick up fridges or, or have had trouble sleeping? Yeah, I I, I would imagine it would just. Uh, like, like what? It, like, once you can pick up a, a fridge, your uh, your muscles have too much power, and you punch yourself in the face all the time. Because like, if you're able to, why would you think that just because you got big muscles, you got twitching problems? Because you're if you're able to bench or do this curls. Yeah. So if you can crawl like 500 pounds, right? Then it seems like you're. It would be take such little effort. For you to do this, that <laughs> put you like you just like without 500 at least like without some weight, you just fly your hands and just start flying. I like, still a little think bit. you're equivocating muscle power with uh, muscle control. Yeah. Um, 
Dude, I don't whoa. think they're the same. <laughs> I don't yeah. think as you gain muscle power, you lose muscle control. It's like you got to have <laughs> weights on your on yourself all the time. <laughs> you see uh, anything on the streets? Uh, I'm gonna go on your walks and stuff. You've seen the the kids out there in the summertime. Well, yeah, I, um, I go by the. Uh, I mean, there was a time when I was walking more in the daytime when other people are out. Saw uh, students out uh, at the uh, arts center uh, making things and stuff. So, like a bunch of them will sit around by one of the outdoor kilns and be chatting about things. And <sighs> I'd see that. Uh, Is it solar powered? No. The outdoor kiln? kiln? The kiln? Yeah. No. I think the kiln is like. Uh, Yes. Making too much heat mm. uh, it cannot be fueled by uh, just solar power, yeah. uh, at least anything. It's outdoors, though? Yeah. Outside the regular building, they got these kilns. Mm. Yeah, for uh, firing up things. Making yeah. pots. Making pots. And uh, bowls. Yeah, like we saw at the uh, last, almost last week's... Uh, what are they called? Oh, the, the drawing, drawing club. club. That guy's making those copper bowls. Yeah, with uh, enamel glaze inside them. You, you had to fire them in the kiln to get that glaze on there. It's know? like your teeth. Yeah. You don't want to just go to the store and buy a bowl. Nope. You Sometimes you just don't want to do that. You're going to make it. And say, so, oh, fuck going to the store. That's too hard. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'll just sit around for a couple of months and bang on this copper. Yeah. You still got to go to the clay store, though. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, some people, you know, like uh, 12 of one thing and, and 6 of the other. I don't know. Yeah. What? What is clay, anyway? Clay? Yeah. I don't know. Like... I could take a guess. Is it's it... like a, a, a highly... Um, it's like silt. Yeah. It's like highly uh, small particles of, uh, of highly silicate content they rocks. particles they're like tiny rocks they're tiny rocks but they're like they got a lot of uh of the the glassy element in them so it's like when you heat it up it it melts together mm. uh in a way that ordinary other kinds of rocks like iron and stuff won't yeah you know glass is made out of rocks yeah let's yeah. just say that glass is made of rocks <laughs> and that's what that's clay kind of rock <laughs> clay is, I guess clay is kind of like glass. You're looking like shatter, and then it's sharp. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah. And they make glass bowls. Yeah. But you can't make, you can't like, you, they, when you make glass stuff, you got to get the, you got to blow it or something. No, you know, I don't Form know. It. Yeah, how do they make the glass bowls? I don't know. Seems like they should be able to get clay, like glass clay. Make it out of glass. You mean, uh, well, glass, it seems, goes into a flowy state at high temperatures. Yeah. Whereas clay doesn't so much. Yeah, clay turns hard. Clay just kind of fuses together, and it might be soft still while it's still hot, but as soon as it cools down, it's all hard as hell. Yeah. Have you ever tried pottery? Yeah, I have. I liked it. I tried pottery and I liked I tried pot, y'all. I liked it. Yeah. But yeah, that was that was fun throwing pots, so to speak. So I'm gonna go to the Oh that's the I guess you paint it. At the painted plate they don't you don't make it, you just paint it. Right. Yeah. Glazing only. Over there. I've never been to the painted uh, plate. I haven't either. They have ice cream, I guess. So they make you eat ice cream and make you paint things. Well, I paint don't plates. think they make you do it. It's like, you stepped in the door, sucker. You got to choose. You. <laughs> you can choose. I choose not to. I haven't been in there. Yeah. If they made you do it, then you would you go in there. Go inside and defy the man. Is any, yeah, any purchase is kind of a trick. In a way. And they're like, gotcha. Because they want you to do it, and it seems like you're losing. 
Somebody's got to lose. Really? You think somebody's got to lose? In a transaction? Oh, come on. It's beneficial, mutually beneficial transactions? Well, yeah. Yeah. That's why people volunteer to do them. Yeah. Well, you think that you, you're supposed to both think that you're now, now winning. This, swindling is, is certainly a, a thing that yeah. people can do in exchanges. It's like build up the other party's expectations and then thwart those expectations in the actual trade and yeah. say, so long, sucker. Yeah. yeah. But you're always trying to convince others that your thing is of more value than than you than it's than you got it for. Yeah. So you get a thing, and then you assign there's like a value on it, and then you say this is actually worth more value than before. Yeah. And then you sell it for more, even though you got it for less. Well, you don't have to do that. You yeah. don't have to like say, I bought it for ten bucks, and I need to sell it for fifteen because it's more valuable than I thought it was. Yeah. I got it for ten bucks. No, sometimes you can just say, I got it for 10 bucks, I'll give it to you for 10 bucks, or I got it for 10 bucks, I'll give it to you for five. It depends. Yeah, because you've used it or something, maybe. Uh, I'm trying to think about what I saw. I was out there a little bit today. Since everybody comes out for the summer, that's the, what I've been talking about. And yesterday we were at TCTV, now we're back here. I didn't say the thing about uh, going on vacation you know when you go out on vacation and you go to a uh, and then you come home and it's nice to be back even though it's like the same place that you've been the whole time yeah i always say it's like your own toilet yeah you know when you go out what do you think what do you miss the toilet and the bed mm -hmm. and then you're back so now we're back even though it's like uh, we went on the vacation it's nice to be on vacation but it's good to be back wouldn't want to live there Oh, yeah, don't live over at TCTV. Yeah. Or TCM or whatever the hell. Now we're back. Uh, we're back here after the, after that, so it's good to be back. Let's uh, take a look at some of the stuff. We can take a look at the tape. Craft. I guess it's about uh, people who practice magic. Your daily Sometimes Here's a it's called witches. It's 2000... Um, uh, 16. No, no, no. What were we doing in 2016? Uh, e! Well, e! Mr. Ginsu hung uh, up, so I guess he's not going to spare on the program. Oh, it takes a second. He's car. Yeah. yeah. This is the first. Well, well, what else do we do? Even Penny, Penny says day. that it's hot. Fast it's forward. Next really, day. It has, it's been hotter. It's hot. It's earlier. Chill. It's I, been it's hot hotter then. earlier than. Carl what says it's not hot. hot. I said it's hot. Carl says no, it's not. Yeah. Hi, 2017. That's 2016. Yeah, it's 2018 now. Yeah, it is hot. It's June. Bye. 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 Yeah, how about if you yeah, try not to swear? It doesn't matter anymore. Okay, okay, okay. I get you. I just forgot. I forgot. You it know. Me. That, 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 get crazy. Elias go. is back. Elias called us. I'm oh, yeah, two years, years ago. From Elias is gone oh, again. Are you? Long long you long it, 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 long long it was long like, long 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 long. I'm going to get sick. TCTV tomorrow. Are you? TCTV yesterday. Looks like in 2016, back in the days when every time we tried to log off the damn episode, Ginsu would run his face. Yeah. In 2016, uh, it was um, oh, man. the, the I, uh, Thursday. I just uh, encountered Carl on the bus yesterday. Oh yeah, on the way back from the TV station. Oh yeah, he was out, he's riding the bus, huh? Yeah. He was going downtown. No, he wasn't. He was going back from downtown. You went down? Nope. You you saw him on the change out? Or how did you do that? Cause you were then we drop you off. Yeah, you dropped me off at that state at you know diversion and harassment. Yeah. And I. Uh, Caught the bus heading towards Evergreen. He was on it for a block or two before oh, okay. he got off over at where he lives. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, there you go. How's he? 
Uh, I guess he's doing all right. You talked to him? He was not in an orange shirt. He was in a green shirt. Oh, a new shirt. That's only Different once a year. color, yeah. So uh, he said he was, like, uh, doing things over at City Hall or something. He yeah. cleans up uh, human shit at, off uh, the sidewalks in downtown oh, Olympia. Just, oh, all over downtown Olympia? Yeah. Oh, okay. Human I, shit, yeah, it can be a problem. I don't like the way it smells. I, I don't like anything about it. Yeah. Uh, I want to, like, uh, I can't think of a, you know, a good thing. Even I don't even think it's good fertilizer. Really? Compared, Not good fertilizer? I, would, I think it's other animals is better. I think it's just a waste product. Uh. uh I, I don't want to use it as fertilizer. Okay. I want it to go away. Right. Uh, animals, you know, it's better. Animals are better. I think the human stuff is... Okay, so maybe maybe Carl removes human shit from um, sidewalks around here. But I'm not sure that's why he was downtown. Oh, you know, he does other... I mean, he cleans up other things, He might too. have been at City Hall doing some other kind of voluntary work. But to say that you're at City Hall... It yeah. kind of limits... It's, it's not like I was downtown... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because oh, like, if you were cleaning up human shit from all of downtown, you would probably say I was just downtown. He's but if you're specifically at City Hall, I mean, human shit doesn't confine itself to shitty City Hall. Yeah. Or shitty Hall. Shitty Hall. <laughs> He's uh, he he was protesting at City Hall for a long time, and then they're like, "Hey, instead of protesting, you want to work for us?" Yeah. No, he works for them. Okay. He was holding those. Remember, he was holding those when he was hey, holding future, the, the, the signs. Past. He was holding the signs with nothing that had like weird cryptic messages on them. Yeah. Remember that? Cryptic weird messages. Cryptic messages. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Like with like I. It's like said the eyeball. He just like had a sign with that had a, like picture of an eyeball, and he was like. Oh. Oh. Around. This, this is uh, 2017. Just There's past. two days of it. High pass. Remember back here when life was simple and things. We had things. That'd be nice. Huh. Isn't that a nice time? Life was simple when we had things. Now I don't have anything anymore. You wish your life could be simpler and nicer like we are in the past? I do. My bones work. Well, my, my bones work. no longer work. Mine works. Does yours? No. Bye. Bye. Bones you don't mean, work anymore. Uh, hey, future, it's us the past. Look, Vietnamese music. <laughs> Can you hear us? Can you hear yeah. the Vietnamese music? Uh, this is what yeah. we're doing today. We're looking at the past and we're listening to this. Hi, bye. Bye. Right. That was the past. In the past, when um, life was simpler and you had things, chances are you were a middle class kid. That's what you're talking about. I think I was just As talking. A child. Yeah, I was just talking to like you about last year. Oh. It's good. Everything's more complicated as time moves forward. <laughs> okay. We're going to go back <laughs> to yeah. farm, farm living. That's what a lot of collectivists, communists, and stuff like that want us to do, sure. They want to destroy, like, what, at, at, like at what level is technology going to help and when we can stop? Yeah, um, we don't know. Yeah. I think maybe we're, pa we're past it. Past the point of helpfulness. Yeah. And now all technology beyond this is uh, cumbersome. At yeah. Least. Extra. Annoying. Yeah. Getting in the way. Well, that's what every everybody every generation will think that. Yeah. And they're like those kids. Yeah. What are they doing? Um, uh, and if they're like, hey, those kids with their steam engines. <laughs> what are they doing? Like. <laughs> yeah. Steam is for cooking, not for engine powering machines. Yeah. <clears throat> we don't like it because it's new. Because like, it represents things that we have no control over and we're losing our sense of control and therefore our sense of, uh, of um, you know, belonging yeah. in life. We're, we're being displaced by the next generation. And it feels like shit. Yeah. Look at those kids. The kids that they tied, <laughs> they tied a rock to a stick. What's wrong with a rock in your hand? <laughs> like, why do you need a rock at the end of a stick? <laughs> What's all this extra leverage shit? 
Nothing wrong with the hand, <laughs> with the rock in the hand. <laughs> yeah, same old story since uh, prehistory, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sunday. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know what? We got to do uh, uh, nope. a new tape because yesterday, we should call Freddie and see maybe he put, he put the other one onto a tape. Because yesterday we were at um, TCTV and we didn't put the message to the future onto a tape. So now... Uh, yeah, what'd you do instead? Put it on like a thumb drive or what? We put it onto, yeah, onto a hard drive. And so now we got to get, uh, today, we got to start a new tape. And then put the old tape... Or put this old. We're gonna put the new tape onto the old tape when we get the message from Friday. So we should call Freddie and ask him about what's going on with that. Uh, with the other tape. Yeah, I, w I want also Freddie to tell me whether um, drawing club will happen tomorrow or not, at the usual place or at all. Looks like Bird tried to call and Dan Dobler also. So. Bird Dobler. Yeah. Uh, here's the Dan Dobler message. Say it. Say it, Dan. Say the thing. That stuff on your mind. Hello, Dan. Say it. Hi, Kitty. This Hi, Dan. Is Dan. Marilyn and I are listening to KIW on the TV. On the TV. Uh huh. K, K I S W. I S W. And, and, and we're, we're enjoying ourselves. Kiss woo. We're enjoying ourselves. Good. And, 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 and I, I'm going to sleep here tonight. Where? This is the music. You can going back by. You're going to sleep at K I S W? Do you know what K I S W oh. is? Me? No. Yeah, I don't either. We'll find out. We'll call Dan. I don't Dan. know if it's actually a TV station. I thought it was a, if it's anything, it was a radio. A, a stationary place that sends out radio waves. Radio station. Here we go. One ringy dingy. Hello, Dan Dobler. Oh, oh, hey, he wasn't yesterday. Dan wasn't there. He's often at TCTV, but he didn't go yesterday. I don't know if anybody Does he go over there to make that uh, Dan Dobler show with Reed or something? Or uh, Reed is on the East Coast. He's been there for months. Uh. He's East Coast Reed now. I'm sorry. The person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not I'm been sorry. set up. Please try your call again later. That thing is sorry. Next we'll call Freddy, the producer. How's that um stump full of cigarette butts? It's still stumpy and full of those cigarette butts. Stumpy, wumpy. It's... You think somebody is is uh, cleaning cleaning it out every couple of months? No. Birds, maybe. Not me. I tell you that much. Or it got filled to capacity at one point, and then it just stays there. Yeah, it's the cigarette butts at the bottom decay. Hey, you've reached Freddie Dobler. Okay, I can't come to the, the phone, phone right now, but if you but leave if me you a nice, nice message, message, then I'll, I'll get call back you back as soon as, as I can. can. Thanks, Thanks a lot. lot. Hey. Freddie, I want to know if uh, drawing clubs happening tomorrow. This is Luke, of course. Yeah. I want to know about the yesterday's tape, and we're going to get onto a tape so we can do messages to the future. Uh, you can call back. You have about 25 minutes today. Yeah. yeah thank you. Cool. Uh, okay, and then we got a message from Bird. We'll listen to this message, and then I also want to call my grandmother today. I've been calling my grandmother. Right. And I say, uh... And you often find that uh, your brother's there. Yeah, my brother's been there. You know about this stuff already? Maybe we called her well, last time you were here? Yeah, right. Last time we were yeah. here. 
It's like you called. Hey, your daily hour with me. Hi, Bert. Hi. How are you? Real good. It is Saturday night. Yeah. Eight forty-two. Ooh, Saturday. The sun is going to be setting soon. And it's June. Happy June! Yay! Almost summer. Oh, they cut the trees. It feels like yeah. summer already, though. So yes. Fucking a. It's beautiful out. Um, he called after we got on. I uh, hope you're doing well. And I uh, want to hear about the studio. Looks like there's still some construction going on out there. Yeah, they took the sidewalk the away. Sidewalk. It's gone. How's the building? And uh, the building. Everybody hope left. You're having a good night. I don't know if and it's the sidewalk. Maybe we'll, we'll be able to talk tonight. All all the neighbors. Bye. All the neighbors in the studio moved out at once. And I don't know. Poof. Yeah, it's like it, within two months. And there's nobody left in the building. I have the whole building to myself now. It's uh, it's nice to, to have the whole building to yourself, but it's also like it's like, do they know something I don't know? Or maybe they can't handle the construction. I don't know why they're gone. Yeah. It's kind of freaky, you know. Like, what did they? What what's going on in the world or something? They know about the sinkhole that's going to open up on, underneath this. Yeah. And uh, swallow the damn building whole. But maybe it's the construction. They're upset about the construction. They can't handle it. Uh, there's no... Um oh, yeah. Well, after the sidewalk gets replaced with the brand new sparkly concrete slabs out there, they're going to be uh, sorry they ever left. Yeah. It's I like, hey, I was check out these sidewalks. Now, nah, motherfucker, you want to come back, don't you? Rent's doubled since then. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I would think that maybe they're gonna, they're, we're gonna get uh, gentrified. Oh no! Like, they, you know, they fix the place and they're like, "Oh, I'm gonna help you out by fixing your neighborhood." And they're like, "Your neighborhood is you living in squalor. How can you live like this? Let me help you out. Let me donate you some new sidewalks, and then you get new sidewalks and it raises your property value, and then you can't afford to live there anymore." You got to move somewhere else where they have crappy sidewalks. Yeah. And they're like, they're like, where oh. have all the crappy sidewalks gone? And they're trying to help you. And they're like, don't help me, don't help me, please don't help me, leave me alone. So. I like this place. Like I didn't ask. Don't gentrify it. Yeah. So. Beep 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 beep. They're beep. trying to gentrify. There's lots of stuff downtown. It's pretty. Uh, it's a. Uh, uh, everybody wants to fix it up, but I don't want them to fix it up because it's cheap. Leave it dilapidated. Yeah. It's like why? Because they, everybody there are so focused on commerce, and they're like, nobody wants to come down here. And I say, don't come down You've here. You reached Robert. And Please leave a message. Leave your, keep it, keep it out there. The, whoa, it's still ringing. This is weird. Yeah. Hey, bird. Whoa, what the heck? I don't know what's going on. Where's the beep? It's like ringing and beeping at the same time. You've reached the message machine. Eventually, you might be able to this leave a message. Weird. Uh, we don't know what's going on. Call us back. Why is it not working right? All right, here, yeah. we'll, we'll call Grandma. No. We want downtown to be a nice, cheap slum. Yeah, keep it slummed. If you want high, highbrow uh, commerce, go somewhere else. Go to the damn mall. Yeah. For fuck's sake. You know that's where it's that's what it's for. Yeah. We got a mall in Lacey. Hello, Grandma. Hello, Grandma. Mushy, mushy. Mush, mush. Mushy, mushy. Uh, como estas? Where are you in? Uh, Genki Das Ka. Oh, Genki Das. The... Not the... Oh, oh, uh, I don't remember that stuff. Back up, Tony. Yes. I, uh, went to, uh, the Comics Festival today. Hey, Andrew? Oh. I, went to the I went to the Comics Festival today. And the comics people, they, they made pins of Darumas. They're like what? they're anime. They're anime p kids, and they they made these. Deru oh, birds trying to call us back on the line, but I'm talking to Andrew. They uh they they made 
Dar you know Daruma dolls? Yeah. The comics people they made uh, they made pins and comics out of Darumas, and I think they're cultural appropriating us. Cultural, culturally appropriation. Uh, yeah. Cultural appropriation. Yeah. You know. Uh oh. I was like, hey, I don't know if you should be making these pins out of Daruma dolls. They're making comic books. They're making comic uh, at comic festival. They're making comics and pens out of Daruma dolls because they're they like they like that Japanese manga stuff. They think that they're they're. they're what's the Daruma doll? Is that the one you paint the eyes? Yeah. Is cultural appropriation how? They're white people making comics and selling pins based on cultural icons, Japanese cultural icons. What is cultural appropriation really, though? Is, is it like making fun of other cultures? I think it's just when you take cultural icons and you use them out, what, outside of the... When you're not a part of the culture or something and you're treating it like so you, a fiction or something, but I don't, I don't know. I feel like it's, it's got some kind of negative spin on it. Yeah, it's definitely negative. They, don't, they shouldn't be using that. they got to make their own thing. White, white people should make pins from so white they, people so culture. So they have no reason to be doing that. Yeah, why? Why, why are they doing that? <laughs> so, like, Ike going to Japan and becoming a Japanese comedian? Yeah, he's a <laughs> Japanese Is he, that cultural appropriation? No, I, well, he's going there. He's li right in it. I don't like that whole, yeah, the anime, the whole anime thing, the manga thing is, uh, I'd rather, like, I, I think that I'd rather have them be racist than be, uh, fetishists. Racist? <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want them, I don't want those weirdos getting that weird yellow fever. Yeah. I'd rather have them be racist than fetishists. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. What are you doing? Who are your guests? Luke. Yeah, Luke. Luke. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Luke, would you rather be racist or a fetish guy? <laughs> If you had to choose, a fetish, a fetish guy. Hey, would you rather be a racist <laughs> or a fetishist? Hey, I'd I'd rather I'd rather desire than hate. So I guess I'd go with the fetish guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll have some yellow fever or whatever. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like yeah. <laughs> fetish guy. I'm fetish guy. I love everybody who's different from me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, nothing. Nothing? You watching TV? Yes. That's something. Yeah. Uh, I'm playing playing some Super Smash Bros. Which one? What? I don't know. Hey, did you see Action Point? I want to see that movie. Action Poi? Point? Point. No, I, I, I didn't see it. You know what it is? No. No? What is it? You know what Action Park is? No. So there's this there's this theme park. It was built in the eighties and this guy he he built it and his uh his whole mentality behind it when he's building it is uh we're gonna build these we're gonna build these rides. It's like a water park, kinda. So we're going to build these rides, and the kids should have enough brains to know what to do and what not to do. Uh-huh. And they clearly did not. And so uh, it's a real park, and a lot of the rides are really dangerous, and a lot of people got very hurt. Yeah. And some died, and then the park shut down. Like... Like the what? Why? How did? How were they dangerous? Like they just c crashed and stuff? Yeah, yeah. There's just like one of the one of the rides. Uh, there's a documentary about it. So one of the rides is just a rope on a on a platform, and you jump off the platform into a a body of water. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> and then the, he's that's like, but he's like, they should know when things are are safe or not. But then he's like, do this thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it's just like. I'm gonna build these rides that are gonna like be really fun if you don't if you don't do crazy stuff off of it. Oh of course, yeah. Kids, kids did like flips and shit that they shouldn't have been doing off of the rope into the water and yeah. All this. Yeah. So anyways, and then there's the other ride where it's just like they go down, 
uh, they go down like this course. It's made of concrete, and it's like you ride on this like weird scooter thing down this course, and it's just like super unsafe because you're not wearing a helmet, and you just like fly off, and you get like crazy all this shit. How did how long did that place last? Not very long. Yeah, who's gonna go there? Like that guy who made that amusement park was pretty yeah. fucking stupid. So Johnny Knoxville made a movie. Yeah. yeah. It's, called, it's called Action Point. And it's about basically like uh, it's like a fictional version of that guy who opened the park. Mm. Right. Well, it's at so, the, it's no, at the no, theaters. No what? Is that the theaters? Yeah, it just came out yesterday. But the whole movie is him doing. They they just like so. Uh, that's what I read. I heard he he sat down with his writers and he just like brainstormed like the craziest rides that they could think of and like the craziest stunts that they could do. Yeah. And then they, they built them and did them. Oh, so it's like a. So it's all it's all real. Jackass. It's, like, it's a jackass movie. Yeah, and he's mm. doing it. He's doing like action park type of stunts. That sounds <laughs> fun. Yeah, it looks really good. I want to see it. Probably better than Star Wars. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> that's the one. So that's... John, John Knoxville and one of the stunts, he uh, he popped his eyeball out of his eye socket. Oh. Yeah. I and want... just... Yeah, it's pretty long. <laughs> it just was held in there by the nerves. What? It was held in by there by the nerves. Yeah, <laughs> by the nerve. He said he couldn't sneeze for like a month or something after because his eye would pop out. <laughs> I wonder how long, how long your eye nerve. I don't know. It'd be really weird to uh, like to just kind of see the world for a second like that, you know? Yeah, it's like hanging uh, hanging out. You can see stuff. Like a like, camera. Like, like moving, moving the eye like a camera around. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I don't think you'd be able. I think that it would be you would be in so much pain and insanity that it wouldn't really register as as anything. Yeah, I, I you could probably see out of it like certain yeah, point. Maybe. I, don't know. I don't know if it pops out and suddenly you're like a robot or something. You're like, well, I could see any. You like grab your own eyeball, and look, <laughs> look, look around. Wow. We built. Yeah, it's like we we chopped off the nerve the nerve on your eye that goes to your brain. And then we put in a little extension cord. Now your brain, now your eye is like 50 feet long. I think it's more just like instead of being like wow, I think it's more like ah, ah! you know. <laughs> yeah, he's not like oh, oh excuse me, folks, my, my eye just popped out of my head. Yeah. <laughs> no. Have you ever have you ever had any close calls with your eyes before, Luke? Uh, no, not that I remember. But, me neither. Uh... I didn't know your eye could actually uh, extend any further than it does. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't. That seems like it's made up bullshit to me. Uh, yeah. If you ask me, I, I don't, yeah. Again, there's. I don't think there's enough nerve tissue to extend any further than that. And the nerve tissue is not the only thing holding your eye. And you've got muscle tissue that aims your eye in your socket that yeah. you have to contend with. That that just doesn't Johnny tear Knoxville off easily. There's like there's like some small little bone, like a little 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 tiny bone that holds in your eye. What ab- so yeah, up. I don't know. What about the muscles and stuff, though? Yeah. Yeah, well, he probably, he probably just, like, fucked up his skull around his eye, you know? Yeah. And just kind of fell out. <laughs> okay, maybe that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, my God. This movie is so fucked up. I want to see it. It sounds really bad. <laughs> this movie sucks. I want to see it. <laughs> what's, uh, what's Grandma doing? Uh, watching TV also. What's she watching? I don't know. Japanese show. Did um, did she take her medication today? Yeah. You, and what about yesterday? Yeah. I think what well, was it? Maybe two days ago when when she didn't take it in the daytime, she maybe took it at nighttime or something like that. Remember that? No, she didn't. She didn't even take it though. At all? Yeah, you told me she took it, so I didn't ask her. I didn't look, and then the Friday she didn't take it. I said that. You told me that she took it because you told her to take it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what she's doing. You're there. You gotta check. You blamed me. Now I blame you. Oh, uh, blame. Let's work together. Okay. We don't need to blame. 
<laughs> That's what you say. Okay, fine. What happens? Uh, what happens if you skip a day? Um, her, her life goes down by a day. Yeah. Is it um? Is it like a, a cumulative, or like day to day? You know what I'm saying? Well, it's not like uh. It's not like some medication, like with your brain or something. Where if like if you don't get it, then you're. Uh, I don't know. It's, like, it's like, you know, like give you a seizure or something if you don't take it. Yeah, but it's like, you know, is it like, is it like every time you take it, it's like affecting you for the next 20 hours or is it like you need to keep taking it because it's like building up or something? I don't know. Oh. Well, it just keeps her heart pressure in check, I think, right? Yeah, I guess. Her blood pressure. How's her feet? Fat. What? Swollen. Swollen still? You going to go to the doctor about it? No. Grandma's got swollen feet, Luke. Me too. Oh, yeah? What do you do about it? Take lots of walks, get exercise. Yeah. You ever try to elevate your feet? How are your feet, Grandma? Hmm. Does she know I'm on the phone? Kenny's here. Hi. How are you? Oh, good. How are you? Okay. okay. What's what's for dinner? Steak. Steaks again? Mm-hmm. I want steaks. Go come over. I don't. You don't want steak? No. You don't like steak, Luke? No. Really? Really. You, you, if somebody's like, here's a steak, you say no? No, thank That's you? That's right. No, no, thank why? you. Why? Why? Andrew said why? Oh, because uh, if I eat steak, I turn into a frog. What? <laughs> if I eat steak, I turn into a frog. That's a good reason. Oh, yeah? I don't like being a frog. You got a curse? Yeah. <laughs> Are you against frogs? Yep, I'm against frogs. Uh, All right. well, species, I, yeah. uh, species appropriation. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, fuck appropriation, yeah. I'm gonna, I want a steak. What kind of steaks is it? Oh, the best kind. Look at the uh, ribeye. Oh, ribeye? I was going to say, that's what I was going to guess, that that's the best kind is. Did you buy them? Yeah, she bought it. Oh, wow. She always wants these steaks. So she <laughs> always buys steaks. That sounds good. You're luck lucky to live with Grandma and get steaks all the time. Yeah, yeah. Have, have you ever uh, baked your steak? Is that what you're going to do? I already cooked it, yeah. You bake with you gotta, you get you see that steak, finish, finish it off in the oven, as they say on the cooking channel. Yeah, is that what you did? Yeah. Mmm, I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, How are they going to cook that steak? They only have 30 minutes. They're crazy. Oh, let's finish it off in the oven. 30 minutes? It only well, takes 10 minutes to cook a yeah, steak. Yeah, it doesn't take that long. 10 minutes. 10 minutes, yeah. Well, I was, was going to say, I'm like chopped. Birds, uh, birds calling us on the other line. Okay, goodbye. Bye. All right. The bird. You don't like steak for real? For real. Just uh, just don't have a taste for it. Huh? Just don't care for it. Or... That's right. You like, what, chicken? Sometimes I like chicken. I don't like meat. Hmm. Meat. I do. I want that steak. Maybe my grandma, she instilled it into us. Yeah. The, in liking the steaks. Kids, I'm going to teach you how to like hey. steak. Hey, bird. Hey, program. How are you? Hey. I'm doing fine. You like steaks? Yeah. Steaks? Yeah. As things to eat. Like beef? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, me yeah. too. Uh, yeah. My brother's cooking them. Luke doesn't doesn't care. For, you don't care for them, right? Yeah, I really don't care what happens to them. They yeah. can get run over by a truck. I don't care. Uh, you're cooking steaks in the studio? No, my grandma is cooking them with my brother. Oh, right now you're at your grandma's house? No, I just called them. Oh, nice. Yeah. Are they gonna Are they gonna save you some? No. Oh, 
Are they going to make that? Uh, that's too bad. Yeah. That's too bad. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, well, I had salmon for dinner last night. That was Ooh, very yeah, good. Yeah. I'm driving. Um, in, uh, I'm sort of in between Bothell and, uh, and Bellevue right now. On the Bustle east side. Here. I'm at Northeast 128th Street. Working? I am driving, yeah, a little bit. I'm I'm going past the McDonald's right now. I'm te- slightly tempted to stop for a snack, but mm-hmm. I don't really need one. I'm doing pretty much okay. I probably might need water at some point, but so this I'm is pretty like, much okay. This is like... Uh... In Lake Forest Park or something? I know the I know the McDonald's in Lake Forest Park. Yeah, no, it's on the other side of the lake. It's uh way over there by Bellevue. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's by um, it's uh. Yeah, I don't know that side at all. Yeah, I'm I'm heading to Kirkland right now. Yeah, you gonna go to Costco? Um, I'm gonna pick up. A person, uh, so, yeah, no, I'm not going to Costco, not tonight. That's I wish. Yeah. I, I need to go to Costco because I'm all out of uh, some supplies. Need to pick up some supplies. Toiletries? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> groceries, um, I'm going to pick up John Paul now. Um... And uh, I need to get, uh, actually, I feel a little guilty, but bottled water. I've been using a lot of bottled water and just, you know, oh, yeah. so convenient. Remember when everybody was upset at bottled water? Well, like, plastic is not good. I remember, like, I feel like it was maybe even more than 10 years ago. Everybody was really upset at bottled water, and it's done nothing but just, like, get more and more popular. And now it's very popular. Yeah. Like, uh, I remember when it was first, when bottled water was first starting, it was outrageous. And they yeah. bottled water, and then, and then about, that was, like, in the 90s, you know, everybody was upset about bottled water. And then in the early 2000s, they really tried to stop it. People stopped. They are like, bottled water is horrible, and now it's, it's, it's just taken off and it's very popular yeah i drink it well i'm uh, i'm gonna be here at this place in uh, about uh a minute so i feel like i should probably hang up so i can concentrate on finding this person and right. not have them be on tv when they get in the car <laughs> hey customer <laughs> hey yeah how do you feel about being on tv Bye. It's a little confusing. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, I want to I want to visit the studio sometime soon. Yeah, maybe Monday. Yep, that sounds good. I would like that. Right. Okay, have fun tonight. Thanks. Bye. 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 I'm gonna set this up to uh, to record this message to the future. And we gotta do it on the other tape because the 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 regular tape we gotta put the the um. The one from yesterday on there first. Whoops. Yeah. Uh, I, I should have eaten dinner. What did I? I Messages. Went to Far uh, far East this morning. Messages. You know, you go to the comics festival. You don't really do comics that much. You mostly do uh, other stuff. I haven't right? been to the comics festival in a couple of years. Yeah. They did it this morning. I was it. like... Um I would go sometimes, but I don't know. My uh, my apartment mate stopped going, so I stopped going. I guess. I wonder if it's still happening right now. Like I know it was happening this morning, but maybe they're still yeah. doing it. I wonder how much you could uh, how much you could do. What can be done? Rebunar. In three minutes. What, what was the last week done? when uh, Natasha tried to uh, tried to? On here and get on here also herself. It didn't work. Yeah. You had already done it by the time we came around to thinking of that. Yeah. Yeah. Band- Look at those guys. There's some moo- uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, I guess. Um, 
on, on that tape. I'm, we're gonna get ready to do this message. Oh, All right. Oh, I gotta look at it though. The Why red hot. Blue. Oh, there. I think it was that. This. Yeah. Hurrah! It stopped. Right. Expulsion. It's in French or something. Uh, it's Spanish. Spanish words coming out of the VCR menu. Hey, future. Hi. It's us, the past. I'm old. I'm in the past. Yeah, we're ghosts. Woo. Oh. Uh, Andrew, grandmother eating steaks. Yep. Cultural appropriation. The thing is ringing. Show's over. And we've had it with this show. It's over. We're on an uh, alternate tape. Bye. Bye. It's, it's been real or yeah. fake or something. I don't and, know. And by, uh, I don't even know what's real anymore anyway. Bye, viewers. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Here's the credits. Uh-oh. Look at that. It's like a statue embedded in a wall. Thanks for watching. It's Saturday. It's like a painting of somebody. We're on uh, TC TV Channel 22 at 11.30 and 2 a.m. Check it out. YHWM.com, yeah. 360-364-384, call me a message, get on TV. A building with rooks in the corners. Ornate oh. carriage. Yeah, 109 State Avenue, number three. That's our address. We don't have any sidewalks. Graham Graham, it's a good song. Thank you. TCTV, La Bebe, Jordan E. Fabulous. Graham Graham, SelfSpot.com, John Woodford, Thurston County, Washington State, USA. Thank you. And viewers, that's you. You're watching. Thank you. Yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Woof. And stuff. Bye. Wow, that's some...